Um, it's a pleasure to be here. I have to apologize for my lateness. We've been in Parliament most of the day. And actually, as I speak to you right now, the chair of the Electoral Commission is actually in the chamber right now. So I will have to be as soon as I am done inspecting the mandatory inspection of your cadets. So I'd like to just pray your indulgence to um, hear me out for just a short, short uh, period while I check the words and then I'll beg my lady to the eloquence of your school prefect. I, I could not believe she was actually reading all that. That's really impressive. And uh, when, when I witness uh, the love of enthusiasm, and also the order that I see here gives me hope for the future. Because I can see that we're really moving future citizens of this country. And uh, yes, I am the name. You can't be you can't be a, a member of parliament, so definitely the name born and raised. Uh, my name, the correct pronunciation of my name is Santi. Yes. So just just for future corrections. As a member of parliament, I think that's not the name. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here, and um, I'd like to congratulate the teachers, the non-teaching staff, the parents and the families, and the children on their graduation here today. It's not easy to, um, to really mold a child, to let them turn out to be such wonderful young children. And so, uh, personally, I have three children, I have three daughters. And um, it's hard to remember that they were this small. My, my youngest is actually turning 13 in September, yeah. My, my second is 16 and my eldest is 19. So, yeah, I, I passed that stage. So when I'm looking at this, this, the children of this size, I still can't believe that they actually get much bigger. My children, my children are all bigger than me now. So. Yes, I know I look smaller than that age. I'm 46, so, yes. <laughs> It's a real pleasure, and as a parent or as a guardian, it's a real blessing when you can see your children passing through such stages. And it's a real blessing when you can offer them the best opportunities that you can. And they will say thank you when they get older. They won't always appreciate it earlier on, but I think that it's our duty to teach them how to say please and thank you. And I can tell from the demeanor of the children here today, and these are some of the values that we're imparting to them. Um, I shared um, a Bible verse for you today, and I'd like to share it again. And it's that's the Bible verse that says that if you train a child in the way he in the learning sheep or she should go, that child will not depart from it. So these are the very important formative years of the development of any human being. And I think that seeing the holistic approach to education that you have in this school is so crucial because these are the, the building blocks on which every other institution, every other aspect of society will build upon. And so I think that as parents, as teachers, as guardians, as members of family, as members of the community in general, we should support the educational institutions that are really instilling these values in the children because these are the values that they will grow up with. Um, I would like to take the opportunity to say thank you for all the efforts that you're putting into planting seeds into these beautiful young children so that they can be the real leaders of tomorrow to take up where we are leaving off. I believe that the future of this country is bright because we can see the brightness of these beautiful children. And I pray that God grants a long life to see them bear fruit. And I also pray that they will all stay on the path, the narrow path of righteousness. Stay studying hard, learn very well, enjoy their studies, have a love for learning and for gaining knowledge. And I pray that the teachers will continue to identify the special gifts that they have and develop those gifts. And not all children have the same way of learning. It doesn't make them bad children. Some children can't sit still very long. It's not that there's something wrong with them. They just have a different way of learning. Let's all try and embrace the different approaches of studying and so that all children can be included in the process of reflecting behind. 
So that when we look back, we can see that they came to an institution that molded them and gave them the best opportunities and built a solid foundation into the future. I'm honored to be here today, and once again, I'd like to thank you very much for the opportunity to share some thoughts and to congratulate you again on your graduation today. May God richly bless you and your families and your teachers and staff. Thank you so much. God bless you.